Let's now enter our shipper information. The shipper section can be filled out two ways. If we don't already have the shipper saved into the system, then we need to click the green plus sign icon. All the sections with the red asterisks are required. After we are finished with all the shipper's information, click Save. Notice the shipper didn't auto-populate in the text box. We now need to search for that shipper by entering the first few letters of our shipper's name and click on the correct one. If our shipper is already in the database, then just enter the first few letters of the shipper's name to find them. Once the shipper is selected, it will also populate the results in the location text box. The date of when we want the load to be picked up will be auto-populated to today's date. However, this can be changed by clicking on the calendar icon. It is important to choose dates and times carefully to ensure the load information prints in the correct order. The remainder of our text boxes in the shipper section are all optional. Description, type, quantity, weight, shipping notes, purchase order numbers, and custom brokers. If we have more than one shipper, we can click on this gray plus sign to add another shipper. Click next to move on to the filling out consignee information.